I know a lot of you have been excited for this video, so I'm not going to mess around with a massive long intro. So let's just get straight to it. Guys, it's wiring time. Here's what's coming up. There's a couple of different cables that we're going to use. Oh. There's just so many wires. Good morning, guys. Before I start this video, if you are new to the channel, I would definitely consider subscribing because we are starting the electrics. We're going to run all the wires in the van, get everything in position, and we're going to go from there and then wire them all in at a later date. But we're starting the electrics. I know a lot of people have been super excited and watching other people's like builds and stuff, everyone has so many questions about electrics. So... I thought I'm not going to teach you because I have no clue what I'm doing with electrics and it is so overwhelming. So I called in the professional and Greg is on his way. He's going to come down here. He's going to help me organize, help me, you know, teach me. Hopefully I'm going to learn and hopefully you're going to learn today in this video on electrics, guys. So Greg's on his way down and we're just going to start wiring stuff in and get it ready to then install at a later date. Guys, if you don't know much about Greg, if you are new and then Greg has been doing YouTube since like 2006. He's an incredible, incredible guy to, you know, to learn off. And he teaches really well. Um, and he basically teaches um, and makes content around camper builds and budget builds and anything you need like that is on his channel guys so make sure you subscribe to him. All his links will be in the description. Check his page out here. But guys, let's get straight into this video and let's get this wiring wired in. Okay guys, as you just see behind me, Greg is now here and he's going to help me with all the all the diagrams and basically what we've done is we've just spent the last probably four or five hours just writing all the diagrams up. Greg's basically explained it all to me just so in future if I'm out on the road when I'm working, anything goes wrong, I can basically fix it myself and I just need to understand it all. I know most people when doing builds, if they have a company do it for them, they don't understand what's behind it or you know how things are wired in so it's a great tip i would say right greg to yeah. really know kind of what you're doing with your own builds but i'll put it on to greg now um and then he can will just explain on what's kind of happening and what we're doing from now yeah i think it's like really important like as tyler said if you to do your own build as daunting as it may seem to deal with the electrics in the first instance if you've done it yourself then you know exactly where everything is. So if you do have any issues in the future, you're more equipped to better deal with any problems. So what we started out with, as I always do with a lot of my stuff, is we got all of the details from Tyler, what he wanted, and then we drew up a little wiring schematic. So it's just a simple way of knowing what you've got to connect to what. So this is very the first thing that you need to do really, have a clear plan of what you want to do and what you're putting into your van from the word go. We then took that a little stage further and we've come here to the van itself to have a look at physically where we're gonna put everything in the van. It's all very well having that diagram, but unless you know where it's gonna go in the van, it doesn't really make any sense. So we've just drawn some simple little sketches of the van layout and then decided where the lights are gonna go, where the switches are gonna go. And then from that, we can identify where cables need to run. And that's one of the first things that Tyler needs to do now at this stage is get all his first fixed cables in. There's a couple of different cables that we're going to use. Let me just grab them for you just quickly. Okay, the key thing with wiring in a van is the van's moving around all the time. Uh, the cables are going to be flexing, the van's going to be flexing. So you need to do, use a multi-stranded flexible cable. Um, that is what we've got here. This is a two core flexible cable that we'll be using for all of the 12 volt equipment. And then we've got this three core Arctic Blue. Again, it's a multi-stranded flexible cable, but it's a three core cable. And this is what we'll be using for all the mains wiring in the van. We want to conceal a lot of the wiring in the body of the van so that it's not on show. And a lot of these metal edges in the van are really, really sharp. And as the van's moving around, the potential to chafe one of these cables and to cut through it and cause a short circuit is quite high. 
so they do need to be protected. So when you're running the cables in your van, make sure that you enclose it in some plastic conduit just to give it that bit of extra protection and then it'll last a lot longer. There's less likelihood of those cables being cut and for you getting a short circuit. So now armed with our diagrams of the wiring layer and now we know we've identified what cable we're going to use and we're going to use the conduit. The last thing we did was just do ourselves a little simple to-do list and obviously it's a little bit of a reminder for Tyler when he's here on his own and I'm not around he can refer to the to-do list and the diagram and know exactly what he's doing okay guys so massive thanks to Greg you know like I said at the start I'm gonna put all of his links and everything all on his channel down in the description so Remember, you're not to learn anything from me on this channel. You to go to Greg's channel if you want learning. Um, this is just basic content just to enjoy it right off the build. I'm gonna run some um, a time lapse now of just me wiring it and we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. Greg, anything from you? Yeah, I'm just obviously gonna add that looking forward to coming back yeah. when we do the second fix. Definitely. So we'll have a little session together when we yeah. come to do the wiring on the batteries and the, and the inverter yeah. and all of that stuff. And hopefully, yeah, we'll, I'll come back and get involved in that as yeah. well, which will be good. So we'll put another video up on the part two of the electrics. Live. Guys, they're not live. Don't be silly. There's just so many wires. Why is there so many wires? That's the wrong sheet. I'm really joking, guys. I've got this under control. Greg, where are you? <laughs> The wires are fully done, and to be honest, it wasn't Spaghetti Junction. I'm actually really happy with the outcome. At the start, I did think, when Greg was explaining it to me, I did think, oh, it's gonna be so confusing, and I was a bit puzzled at times, and um, a little bit overwhelmed, I won't lie. But once I followed all the instruction sheets that he gave me, um, it wasn't that bad at all, and the only kind of difficult thing was is it was just a little bit fiddly and just a bit of time consuming but i'm super happy with the outcome all the wires are installed and um we are ready to move on so guys i'm going to leave it at that remember to like comment and subscribe and let's grow this channel thanks again and i'll see you in the next one